Hello, my friends. I'm going to do a cloud pour today featuring greens, greens and golds. Now, I th I'm sure I've shown you this, um, this one. See, which way does it go? I don't know. Uh, this way, I think I like it. I've, I've varnished it, though. You haven't seen it varnished, and I'm really pleased with the way it came out. I think it's quite lovely. The gold, uh, hints of gold throughout are just very pretty. So I'm using, I think, the same gold. This is Artist Loft Old Gold. I've got a little white with a little bit of that old gold in there, so it's a warm white. I've got two greens, Arteza's pale green, and then a darker green, which I mixed. Um, it's Soho Hooker's green plus some metallic black for a deeper shade. And then I've still got Cloud Mix that's been laying around now for a good three weeks. So we'll see how that works. And let's go for it. And I have some Flow Extender. If you saw my orange one, uh, oranges and reds one I did recently, I felt I didn't have enough paint and I ended up really tilting a lot out of it and blew it out. I mean, I'm happy with it and I embellished it a bit and I think it's quite pretty. But um, this time I'm gonna put some Flow Extender around my, my cup pouring because uh, I don't think this is enough for this 16 inch canvas. So all that said, let's get to it. I'll put the recipe down below. The colors are just mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water, but the cloud mix has got a bunch of stuff in it and uh, I will detail it below. And I'm going to add some right now. I think I'll pour from up above. Just kind of let it mix in a bit. Okay, here we go. We don't use a lot of green in pores, it seems. I don't know why. It's not people's favorite color, but I love it. It's the color of nature. I do love it with gold. I hope my dark green will be apparent here. Okay, that's enough now. Stop what you're doing. Ah. Okay, uh, I'm going to let this percolate and I'll pause and put out my little flow extender. It's just some flow trawl mixed up with some paints that I scraped up. I'll put that all around, let this develop for a little bit, and then come back and tilt. Okay, it's been less than 10 minutes and there's quite a bit of reaction already, as you can see. Um, so let's tilt it around and see what we have. I did dribble some of the darker green around in some areas that I felt were kind of boring and a little bit of gold too. I'm not sure how I like that, but I could tilt it off if 
don't care for it. It just felt it needed a little more interest and dark in some sections. So here we go. That flow extender, I don't know if you could see it in the light there, but it's so pretty. It's a dark metallic brown. You get that a lot when you just mix up your, your leftovers, when you've had some metallic in the mix. I like it, but not enough to, um, not with these colors, I don't think, to keep as negative space, or do I? I don't know. Let's... No. <laughs> That's very odd. Oh, it looks like I have another hand over here. I did a pour once before, a cloud pour. It very much looked like a hand holding something. You just kind of get these skeletal um, shapes with the cloud pour. A little bit more of that brown peeking through. I've got to say goodbye to. There we go. Now, let's look at composition. It's green. <laughs> it's very, very green. I think I don't like this section over here. I'm going to get Run that off. That's better. I don't love that shape in the middle. Ugh. I I should not have poured. Um, well, no, no, wait, that came out last. Maybe I poured too much um, cloud mix on the first go round, the first layering, because that's what that came about from. Oh my gosh, Chris. What can I do with it? I don't want to tilt it off because then I'll lose things I do like. Maybe I'll take a skewer. Um, first I'm going to move it over a little bit this way. Kind of as a frog shape, do you see that? <laughs> but I'm gonna do this. I still have a lot of paint on the surface. Okay, I'm going to do some skewering. See if I can't save this thing, this big green monster. Let's see. 
I'll just skewer that section there. See if I can bring some of this dark into there. I don't want them all the same size. Big one here. I don't know if this is helping or not. I like that better. Um, I don't like this shape. I'm going to put one over here too. They're far more interesting when you have multiple colors in there. I mean, that's probably the best one. Anywhere else? Maybe one more over here. Okay, I'm on a, I'm on a swirl kick here. I like how you don't see them initially, but then your eye is drawn to them. I'm going to keep going, my friends. They're almost bubble looking, aren't they? Should I put one in this mess here? Yes, let's. Oh, I can hardly see that one. There's just so much white. I can hear you. I hear you. I think it's interesting. I'm going to overlap one right here. And then I think I need one more over here for balance. I hear you. Slinky's protesting. You don't like that, Slinky? No? Stop, stop. One more. Okay, that's it. Now let me take you in for a closer look at my madness here. See, I think that's interesting looking. And over here, I like those that trio. And the center is just very soft. It's like the the birth of the swirls. Green swirls. That's an interesting one there. Look at that. 
What do you want, Slinky? There's a very subtle one there in here. Okay, my friends. Well, there you have it. A green cloud pour with swirls. Thank you for joining me, my friends, and I shall see you next time.